What do you call an Egyptian god who's bad at video games? Anubis. Ah, noob, us. Ha ha. Yo, yo, welcome back to Bobville. It's your boy Bob once again, back with the uh, classic knockback tutorial this time and uh, as you can see at these classic examples here they're not only kind of flashing when they take damage but they're also invulnerable for a couple seconds so we're going to go over both of those things today so opening up our player object we're going to go and add more script to our player script our uh, movement script now this script is pretty simple um we're just basically adding the on collision enter and if that object is either an enemy or our layer 7 which is our like environmental traps our saws and our spikes and stuff then we're just gonna play our knockback method and in that knockback method we're just calling the, that flashing animation and then kinda launching our player in the air with that velocity x and the jump force and then check the uh, screen shake video if you haven't seen it to kind of figure out how to get that generate impulse, which is the uh, vibration. But other than that, save that. And come on back out to uh, Unity. And I'll show you my hurt animation, which is that trigger that's going to get played basically just have our player flashing just like we saw at the beginning there and it's pretty basic now I might tweak it later probably not but that's what's going to be playing in our knockback method when we have our is hurt trigger set and so that's pretty much it for the knockback just make sure that all your enemies and environment stuff are layer layered correctly. And as you can see, it plays nice and good here. The uh, full animation isn't playing there, and I can kind of show you that in a minute, or maybe in another video. But now let's go in and add that invulnerability to our player while that animation is playing there. So I added a take no damage script to our player. So this script's pretty simple also. We just have a void on trigger enter and an on collision enter 2D method. And that's just to handle the triggers and the collisions obviously. And it starts a co-routine called no damage when the player comes in contact with the enemy. And in that no damage, we're just ignoring the player and the environmental traps for two seconds and then just setting it back to regular after that two seconds is kind of how long the animation is going to play so that's pretty much it for that and um, next I'll just go in and just make sure all of my prefabs have the correct tags I believe I had seven for environment set so that should be fine and by the way if you haven't already leave that like and sub at the bottom give a comment if this has helped you at all I know a lot of this came in handy for me so hopefully it helps you guys too things because I don't think I've said that already. There we go. Set that to the enemy layer environment and I can press play. And you can see when I get hit I'm not just immediately bouncing back off taking more damage. It's a whole two seconds in between, and that's pretty much it. Until next time, guys. Peace. Why was there never a successful Ants video game? Because they had too many bugs.